What you're looking at here is my Dreamforce payroll worksheet. Well, it's a mini database where I keep track of my employees with their first name, last name, social security number, and so on. I want to show you how you can navigate around your worksheet, the least of which is you can use the mouse by clicking here, here, here. You can do it that way, or you can go ahead and use the arrow keys on the keyboard to go left, right, up, or down, or you can use the tab key to go to the right, hold down the shift key and hit tab and go to the left. Well, you have your scroll arrows, and then you've got the scroll bar here, the vertical and the horizontal. So if I want to go down, I can do it one of a couple of ways. I can either go row by row for each click, or I can click and drag and hold the scroll bar and jump down really fast. And you can see that I still have the scroll bar held because if you can see that little pop-up, row 56, that's the top row that I'm going to be viewing when I get to the end of my database. And you can see it's right there, row 56. And then down at the bottom, that's where the database ends. If I want to go beyond that, then I can hit the down arrow, but I can't do it by clicking and dragging the scroll bar because it's at the end of the data range. And you can do that way for vertical. You can also do it for horizontal. Well, we can't go left. We can go click and drag to go right, but I can't go any further over to the right because it's at the end of the data range. And I can go ahead and continue by clicking the right arrow several times. And then to go back to cell A1, you can hold down the control key and hit home It'll take you there, or if I click off somewhere, you can come up here and click in the name box and type in A1, hit enter. We covered that in an earlier training video. And then the shortcut keys control end will take you to the end of the data range. Control end if you want to get to the very last cell within the data range. That is if the data range is built correctly and you don't have empty rows or empty columns. So it can see a pattern here and go, oh, this looks like it's the data range and that's going to be the end of it, the last column, and the last row. Next, if you want to be able to get to the top of a range, to the left-hand side, the right, or the bottom really fast, you can use these shortcuts. Like with the cell that I have selected here, it's highlighted in green. If I hover over the border of it, I get a four-way arrow. If I double-click really fast at the top border, it's going to take me to the top of the data range. Double-click on the left-hand side to left most part of the data range, the right to the right, and the bottom to the bottom. So. Hover over it, get the four-way arrow, double-click to the top of the data range, double-click at the bottom, to the bottom of the data range, double, well, hover over the left-hand side, it's a little bit small there, but double-click to the left-hand side of the data range, first column, and then double-click to the right to column I, the end of the data range, well, for the columns here. You can also use the shortcut keys if you're that kind of person. Go ahead and hold down the control key, hit the up arrow to go to the top of the data range, control arrow down to go to the bottom, control arrow left, and of course control arrow right to go to the left and right side at the end of those ranges, the beginning or the end. Speaking of which, you can use the end key. As you recall in an earlier training video, when we had no data here and I hit the end key, when I hit the right arrow key or down, it'll take me to the very end, the last row, which is over 1 million or the last column, which is X, F, something like that. But if you have a data range here, you want to move within the range. As you can see, when I hit the end key down below on the status bar, it's an end mode. So after I hit the end key and I hit the up arrow, now it's just like holding down the control key and hitting the up arrow key, or I can hit end and the down arrow key, or I can hit end, go to the left, and hit end and hit the right arrow key to go to the right. So you've got quite a few options there. It's your flavor. And then you've got the home key. If you hit home, it'll take you to the first column. So if I'm way over here, somewhere out in Boonie Land, and I need to go to the first column, home, and I'm home. First column there. And then if you want to be able to page down or page to the right, you can use the page up or page down keys on the keyboard. So if I go ahead and I hit page up, it goes from the first row that was visible, which was 56, and bumps it all the way down so it's still visible as the last row when I hit page up. So there's 39. If I hit page up again, 39 is going to be the last row. So I have some sort of reference going, oh, that was the first, now that's the last. And then we can hit page down. So 39 is going to be up the top when I hit page down. And then 56 when I hit page down is going to be at the top from 56 down to, well, the last there, row 72, or the employee numbered 68. And then if I want to be able to page over to the right-hand side, just go ahead and hold down the Alt key and hit page down, and it goes over several columns. So there's column N, Alt, page down, goes over to column AC. And the last one's AQ, so if I do Alt, page down, well, if I go back just one, there's AQ. So that gets wiped out. So whatever you see over here, BE, 
The next one is going to be BF. So if I come back here, there's BE, and I do Alt, Page Down, there's BF. So it won't give you a point of reference when you're going horizontally here. And so Alt, Page Down, or Alt, Page Up, Page Up, Page Up, to get back to where we started with Column A. Or I could have hit the Home key, and it would have taken me right back to Column A. And how about if we have extra worksheets down below? Well, we just got one, but if I click the plus sign, the plus sign, the plus sign, I got several worksheets, and I want to be able to navigate from one worksheet to the next. Well, I can click on it, use the mouse, right? Or the shortcut keys are Control Page Down, and it goes to Sheet 1, Page Down. I'm still holding the Control key, and then Page Down again, Sheet 3. Then Control Page Up, Page Up, Page Up, and I'm back to where we started. Okay, let's go ahead and do Control Home to go to the beginning. Now, if you need to select more than one cell, well, to select a cell to apply some sort of formatting to it in this example, like Clinger, come up here, click on B for bold to make them bold. But if you want to make more than one cell bold to select more than one cell, well, you can click and drag. You can click and drag to select a range of cells, and whatever's highlighted is where you're going to be able to click on the command and make it bold. Now, when it comes to selecting a range of cells, well, if I select one cell, you want to make sure you get the white cross. Because if you hover over the border and you get, let me do it right here, a four-way arrow and you click and drag and you let go, it wants to move what you selected over to another cell. We don't want to move, which is a later training video. Click Cancel. We just want to highlight. So you get three crosses. You have the white cross, which is the selection cross to select more than one cell. Click and drag. You can select as long as you got the white cross. If you're on the border of it, don't click and drag because that's not the white cross. That's the black four-way arrow. Also, if you're over the bottom right-hand corner and you see a black cross, don't click and drag. That's for a later training video. That's not going to allow you to select, well, from this point here, that cell, to down and over, or just straight down, or go straight over, like so, the range of cells. So C7, column C, row 7, over to column H, still the same row, row 7. So you'd say column C through HC. Everything in between, that same row, has been selected. You can do it that way, or if you want to select non-linearly, like Simpson, and you want to go down and select Wiggins, hold down the Control key and click, and click, and click, 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 click. In fact, you can even click and drag while you're doing that. And you've got non-linear selections here, so you can go ahead and click on B for bold, and it'll, it'll apply the bold formats to everything you have selected here. Oh, and new to Excel 2019 is that if you want to reselect things, you don't have to click off to deselect everything and then start all over again. Instead, you can hold down the control key just as we select non-linearly to deselect those things that you no longer want to keep or have highlighted. So, for example, I can click and drag and select that range and poof, it disappears. And I can go ahead and deselect that. Poof, that disappears. And I still have my selection so I can reselect it. And then go ahead and click and drag and reselect that range, and we're back to where we started. And then to go ahead and deselect, just click off somewhere, and you got one cell selected now. You can also do block selections. So if I want to be able to select from cell D9, column D, row 9, down to, oh, right here, let's say, instead of clicking and dragging to go down there, I can just leave it selected there, come down, and hold down the shift key and click in cell F16. And it selects from that point and everything in between with that shift key held down to where I clicked. Cool. You can, of course, select everything within the worksheet. Let me click somewhere to deselect. By the shortcut keys, Control A selects everything. And if you're wondering about that white cell right there going, hey, it didn't select that. Well, we'll talk about that later on. But that's of everything you have selected is the starter cell of the selection. And what that means is that if I want to be able to use other features in Excel, or I just want to input data, when I hit Enter, it's still selected the entire range, but the focus is on that next cell. Enter, Enter, Enter. And we'll talk about that more, so don't think that it's not selected because it's, in this example, highlighted. Because it's in white, it means it's the highlight of the selection where you can begin the process for using other features in Excel, as well as entering in data, which we'll talk about in a later training video. So let me go ahead and click in another cell to deselect everything. You can either do Control A to select everything within the worksheet, not the workbook, just the worksheet, or you can come up here in between, let me scroll up just a bit, column A and row 1, right up there is a selector square. 
when you click on it, it selects everything within the worksheet and then of course the beginning of the selection where you can start that has it highlighted is cell A1. Well, all these cells are merged, so it's selecting everything from A1 over to I1. And we'll talk about how to merge cells later on. Whew, getting ahead of myself. So there you go. Control A or go ahead and click on the select all block right there to select everything within your worksheet. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.